be a good one at 185 pounds between Luke Rockhold and Uriah Hall. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the sticking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Hall is one year the elder. Rockhold is three inches taller. Hall will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Uriah Prime Time Hall! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, five losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Santa Cruz, California, Luke Rockhold. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Center here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and DC. This is the loudest MMA venue that I have ever been in. in John, I feel the same thing. UFC 124. When I walked out of the back with Josh Koscheck, I had never heard anything like the crowd in the Bell Center before he fought George St. Pierre. These people cheer and they cheer loud for their guy. What a punch. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh, nice strike at distance there from Uriah Hall. 
Clipped him with the right hand there. Nice punch there by Hall. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your Oh, collar tie. Left hand punch with the clinch. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Paul's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Just out of range with that left hook. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, dude just got worked by that uppercut. His chin went all the way up to the ceiling. Rocco gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Three minutes remain in the round. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Take it to the ground. Just unable to quite find that range. Absolutely punished by that head kick. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Two minutes remain in the round. Rockhold gets caught with that punch. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Leg kick checked effectively there by Rocco. With 90 seconds to go in round one. Looking for that left hand, not there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Luke Rockhold. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Hook shot attempt to the head here, instead it's blocked by Hall. Big head kick lands. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Five minutes in the books. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. And just like that, DC, round two ready? is upon us. Luke ready? Rockhold. Fight. And also ready to go, that man, Uriah, primetime hole. Oh, man, head kick land. <laughs> Big. 
big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Hulk. And they separate. Wow, what a head kick. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Watch for that uppercut. He's looking to try to get that He blocks the punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. 35 total strikes have now landed for Luke Rockhold. And landing with 30% accuracy, not great, against Uriah Hall. Beautiful strike. Hey, keep moving. Hey, take that shot. Take the shot. That's Big the kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Liver kick. Head kick there blocked by Hall. Oh, nice right hand. Ninety seconds now to go round two. Paul's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. He's looking to double up that jab now. Rockhold gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. in a single collar tie. Protect yourself, the hook is coming. Ooh, what a punch. High cross, baby, high cross. Get high oh, gets absolutely melted by that head kick. That strike blocked by Rockhold. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Switching stances here. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Visibly limping here. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques. 
but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. That was a good round, but I need you to be a little bit more accurate this time. I need you to land. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Well, a combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice head kick. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Rockhold. Keep moving. While the numbers continue to pile up here, 56 total strikes have landed for Uriah Hall. And in terms of the connection rate, the accuracy of the strikes, 35% against Luke Rockhold. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message uh -huh. to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attacks, young man. That shot blocked by Rockhold. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Hands up, hands up. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Now let's start to hammer on that body. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact Just messing on the high kick there. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Big kick lands. Stuff the takedown, no problem. 90 seconds now remain in the round. Whoa! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. And 
this might just be a matter of time. by this great fighter. And I don't care how high your threshold is for pain, when you're in that compromised state, better to tap and fight another guy. It's so crazy because people think the pressure's on your arm. It's all your shoulder. When somebody has a really good Kimura, it feels like they're gonna break your shoulder. That's why you have to tap. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it, Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 54 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by tap out, Luke Rockhold! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.